You're looking at SpaceX is successfully launching one of its Dragon cargo ships to the International Space Station. This launch happened in May of 2019. Now that same spacecraft is finding a permanent home right here in Chicago at the Museum of Science and Industry. And joining us now to talk about this historic arrival is museum curator and space expert Vula Saradakis. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, this is we're really excited to talk about this. So let's first start with the SpaceX spacecraft and now it being part of the museum's collection. Yeah, I mean, first, let me just say we are super excited, thrilled to welcome a SpaceX Dragon One spacecraft to the museum. It's an exciting day. We're planning a an opening ceremony at noon in the uh, south uh, in the north portico in the patio at 12 p.m. And it's a free day for all. So hopefully we'll see a lot of people there. And inside the museum we'll have uh, all sorts of uh, space themed programming. So it's going to be an exciting day. Uh, and you want to come out especially and see it because it's going to be the one time you'll be able to see it before uh, it uh, is going to be stored and then um, we're going to exhibit it again once the exhibit opens in the spring. But this is an amazing spacecraft. It was the last one built of the Dragon 1 spacecraft, cargo spacecraft that were designed to carry cargo to and from the International Space Station. And it has been to space twice. First time was this Commercial Resupply Services 12 mission that was in August of 2017. And the second one was the CRS Mission 17, uh, which was again in May of 2019. And it tells the amazing story of reusability uh, and the reinvigoration of the aerospace industry. So Vula, this is quite the get for the Museum of Science and Industry. Of course, so many great artifacts in that museum, but this is one that just happened not that long ago. You just ran through the missions for that Dragon Cargo spacecraft. How did the MSI come up with this and did it cost you anything? What did you have to go through to get it? Well, it actually comes from um, a conversation, initial conversations that our president and CEO Chevy Humphrey had with uh, SpaceX about the possibility of bringing a Dragon spacecraft to the museum. It, you know, the, the spacecraft itself was a revolutionary, revolutionary game changer. It broke new ground. And we were excited to be able to tell the story of that incredible technology and, and how much, again, it just reinvigorated the uh, aerospace industry. And so uh, several months later, several, many conversations later, uh, we had, we made it happen and we are uh, excited at um, bringing it into the museum. Uh, the last time we had a huge artifact like this with a public event was back in 1993 when we welcomed the 727, the Boeing 727. Uh, it also reminds us of the times that we welcomed the U505 and Air and Space Museum Apollo 8 command module. So it really will be a fantastic event. And we're so excited uh, in the spring when the exhibit opens to be able to tell this incredible story of innovative technology. You said the word huge, because I was actually thinking, how big is this and <laughs> right. where is this being going to be exhibited? Right. Good question. It is about 12 feet in height and um, approximately that as well in width. If anyone's been here to the Henry Crown Space Center to see the Apollo 8 command module, the Apollo 8 command module is a little bit wider and a little bit shorter. So, uh, but um, roughly, you know, that to think that in terms of the dimensions for the SpaceX uh, Dragon capsule, it will be going into the Henry Crown Space Center. And um, once again, the exhibit itself to tell this incredible story of reusability and uh, reinvigorating a new era of space flight really will be in the spring of 2023. I guess we have Elon Musk to thank for this, right? <laughs> We're getting there. Yes, we do. And SpaceX, I mean, they really, uh, they've done such remarkable things, really. And um, we're incredibly proud that the home of this Dragon spacecraft will be right here at MSI. And, um, and, and what we'd like to do is, you know, tell the story, but always with an eye towards um, you, you telling this story to, to the public and to students who will one day become the next generation of explorers. And that's exciting. Vula Saradakis with the Museum of Science and Industry. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much.